Peace and love, you beautiful miracles of spiritual level being. Nathan here from a spiritual level being, and you have a spiritual level being. And today I want to discuss the holy fools, fools for Christ, babbling holy men, babbling philosophers. Now this term has been used before Christianity, but today we're specifically focusing on the holy fools of Christianity. Now this was done in order for the monk or holy men to be closer to God, to remove themselves from the follies of this world, to allow others to mock and ridicule them so they could remove pride and vanity from their lives, to stop the locals from praising them as godlike or as angels. Now, one of the first said fools for Christ was a man named Simeon or Salos of Byzantine Syrian origin. It said that he was pretending to be insane or was insane and he lived in the 6th century. Now, he is also known as Simeon the Fool. Now, I said that children threw nuts at him, we called him the crazy father, that he would throw nuts at women and that he would scratch his ass along the floor and that he would drag a dead dog along in the city and through the desert for a whole year. And it said that he did this to stop the locals from praising him as godlike for his miracles, such as curing a blind and exercising demons out of people. Now, there was another man named Simeon Stilius who sorry if I butchered the name, locked himself in an altar to seclude himself from the rest of the world, a vow of silence, if you will. This role of the fool was eventually replaced with a vow of silence. Now, the whole role of the fool was also dangerous as the Mongol holy men could land themselves in prison, as some would question the Bible, as parts would be seen as foolish or man-written. Now, a lot of monks were made saints and were even put in prayers and were praying, well, people would pray to them, even more so than, say, Jesus or the archangels. And so some monks would play the game as the fool to stop this. Now, it's interesting when you look at this sort of history. It's not really discussed in Christian churches, which is pretty, really funny. So peace and love, everyone. I love you all. Connect to all my mind and soul. Namaste.